When a car maker plans to make its entry level model at a cost of more than 200,000 euros, then you can't expect to hand out just any old color brochure to customers for the choice of paint or leather. In this price class, you have to think a level higher, especially when each and every car is to be a personalized, one-off model. Lamborghini offers Gallardo buyers an interactive animation program on the internet to help them choose the equipment they wish. Let's simply take a look at this program, shall we? A Lamborghini test driver, a dream job. Here's what the pro has to say. My name is Mario Fasanetto. I'm a test driver in Lamborghini, uh, and uh, I'm involved in the research uh, development, uh, so I develop prototype of uh, all the new car we will see on the road uh, in the future. I'm in this factory since 1985, so it's a pretty long time. <laughs> Our factory is uh, a good example of what can do uh, the Italian craftsmanship and the Audi technologies. We can match everything uh, in a good example of quality and performance. And uh, yeah, this is still an Italian factory, but we will have uh, anyway a big help from the uh, Audi technologies. The main thing for the new car in the future, I think it's make the car lighter as lighter as possible because that's uh, uh, let, uh, let possible to improve the performance and reduce the pollution. I think that it's a really good opportunity for Lamborghini to start to go into the race, in the world race and the Super Trofeo is showing what the Lamborghini car are able to do. Lamborghini, the legendary sports car maker from Italy, has been building some of the most exciting cars in the world since 1963. At its headquarters in Sant'Agata Bolognese in northern Italy, Lamborghini has opened a very impressive museum. The permanent exhibit is open to everyone and covers the entire history of the exclusive car maker. Photographs illustrate the 47-year history of Lamborghini. The collection includes the company's founder, Ferruccio Lamborghini, born in 1916, design studies, contemporary advertising shots, right on up to the plant's manufacturing process. The industrialist started building his own high-performance sports cars in 1963 because he was dissatisfied with his Ferrari. Lambo's history began with the 350 GT in 1964. Its V12 delivered 280 horsepower. Up till 1966, 135 were built. It was followed by the 400 GT. The 320 horsepower Gran Turismo was built 273 times. Its top speed was 260 kilometers per hour. The first Countach and the LM002 are also among the many auto treasures. Lamborghini also built highly successful engines for powerboats. The production cars and the concepts fill an entire story of the museum. Lamborghini's foray into Formula One racing brought them no fame. From 1987 till 1993, Lamborghini successfully built 12-cylinder burners for Lola, Lotus, Ligier, Minardi, and La Russe. In 1991, Lamborghini even started with its own chassis as Team Modena. For Formula One, there was only one engine to build, a V12. On the track, the Italian race cars were even able to measure themselves against Audi's R8 in the GT racing series. The sporty future of the Aventador is still wide open, but they have already reserved it as space in the museum. The GT versions of the Super Sports car, the Diablo and its successor, 
the Murcielago, were much more successful out on the track. Private teams regularly bring a Lamborghini to the start. It's easy to exceed the speed limit in a Lambo that does more than 300 kilometers per hour. Lamborghini even gives a car to the Italian Highway Police to keep up with such speed demons. The first police Gallardo with all its special equipment is also part of the exhibit. Some of the museum pieces and cars are presented in a very unusual fashion. A Gallardo, for instance, drives across the wall. A large part of the exhibit is devoted to the many extravagant concepts and special edition models. The Revanton, based on the Murcielago, was turned out 22 times. 20 customers bought one for 1.1 million euros. That's per car. The prototype of a Diablo is a one-off model. The same as the Canto, designed by Zagato. The Countach is probably the most famous of all the Lamborghinis. Between 1974 and 1990, it was the brand's claim to fame. The brand symbol is and will always remain a Spanish fighting bull.